In the last episode, we talked about the different types of uh, LED strips you can find. And if you recall, we talked about SMD series and uh, the uh, WS series. So we're going to start with the uh, SMD series again. And the SMD series generally are all 12 volt powered, whereas the WS series are generally 5 volt powered. So you need some method of powering uh, these LEDs. Well, the simplest way is just to connect the thing to 12 volts uh, on your battery. So the first decision is, uh, do you want to use 12 volts from your coach or RV uh, to power the LED strips, or do you want to use 120 volts with a power supply? Usually you can buy these strips uh, as either just a strip itself, or you can buy them sort of like a kit that includes uh, several things. Uh, here's an example of one of the kits I bought. Uh, came with an LED strip itself and then it came with the appropriate controller. Now this particular controller is for the RGB strip and uh, this plugs into the uh, strip itself. This is an infrared detector and then you have to connect 12 volts up to the standard uh, power connector. And then you would use uh, this remote uh, to uh, make the changes and so this would have to be something you might want to put into a cabinet say but then you're going to have to snake this down under the cabinet somewhere so that this remote can uh, control it. And usually when you buy it in the kit it also comes with a 12 volt power supply like what we see here and this just plugs in just like that. Now on these 12 volt power supplies, uh, this one has the ability to output 5 amps. So you can power a couple strips with this. Now I did some testing here and we'll go back to the monochrome strip. This monochrome strip, uh, there are basically for 5 meters, uh, it is a 1 amp current draw at 12 volts. So not a whole lot. It works out to be about 4 milliampers per LED. In the uh, RGB strips and as well the RGBW strips, uh, these take a little more uh, power. These take about three times the amount of power. So we're looking at somewhere around 2.8 amps for 5 meters. And that makes sense because uh, these strips have three LEDs in each uh, device. So as I said, the, the simplest method of connecting is to simply uh, connect 12 volts uh, to the LED strip. And actually I've done that here. I'll just plug this together and this here is just a 12 volt power supply. But of course any battery would work. When you turn it on, of course it comes on. Now you can vary this voltage if you'd like for something less than 12 volts and that would actually dim it. Well something else you can buy, and by the way this one did not come with any kind of a controller, it just came with a pigtail and so you can simply just wire this up to 12 volts if you desire. But you can also buy this and, and by the way all these different uh, devices I have I always associate a web page with any of my projects. So you can find out what the sources are for uh, where I bought these things. This is a wireless adapter and essentially it's quite simple. You just uh, plug it in to here, plug the other end in here, then you turn the power on and you've got, you can turn it off, you can turn it on, uh, you can increase the speed, you can uh, dim it, there's full brightness, there's 50%, there's 25%, uh, different modes, flashing modes, which, you know, you probably aren't getting, I mean, like I said in the last video, you know, you're probably going to make your uh, RV neighbor mad if he's trying to sleep in the middle of the night and you're doing this, you know, so just be aware that uh, different do's and don'ts, I suppose. And, uh, you know, for a couple bucks, you might find that convenience at least 
the part that allows you to dim it. And you can use the same technique on the RGB devices and that is powering them by 12 volts. Now the only difference is there's on the RGB there's four wires. There's a white wire, a red, blue, and green wire. Of course the red, blue, and green is going to be your red, blue, and green LEDs. The white is going to be the common. Now the common wire in this case is positive. So you do want to connect the 12 volt positive to the white wire and then connect the 12 volt negative to red, green, and blue, whichever combination you want. Now you could simply use a set of switches on this. You know, you just have three switches, a red switch, a green switch, and a blue switch. And then flip on any combination to make any of the primary or secondary colors. Or turn them all on to make white. You can also purchase this with one of these controllers. And just like before, um, you just take the controller. And there are marks on here, uh, polarity marks. So you got to make sure you're, you're in the right polarity. And then again, you're going to want to take your power supply that comes with the controller. And it's the same thing here. You can, you know, red, green, and blue, just like we showed in the first demo. And you can also build your own controller. And what I have here is, that's exactly what I've done. If, if any of you are familiar with uh, microcontrollers, this is uh, an Arduino Uno microcontroller. And I've got it connected to a, an RGB amplifier. Now, again, in my website, I will show schematics on, on how I've done all these things. And the way these work is, again, we need to plug this into here. And again, let me check my polarity. So then I got to power both the Arduino and the uh, RGB amplifier. So one of these leads, this is just a power splitter. One lead goes here to the Arduino. The other lead goes to the amplifier. Now, when I plug this in, Okay, what I've done with this Arduino is I've actually programmed into this chip what I want to see. So you can program in any sequence you want. Uh, you know, you just take, you just use your own imagination. So you can certainly do a custom job, which is basically what this is. Okay, also you can buy uh, if you don't want a wireless remote. You can buy a wired remote, uh, such as what this one is. And this one, you can change the color like that. Red, green, blue, and white. And you have mostly all the functionality that you'd have in the remote. And so, uh, let me try to wire that up for you. Okay, so now I've got this uh, wired remote connected. And it's a touch panel, so you just Hit the button there and you can run your finger around to change the color. Or you can do red, green, blue, white. The only caveat with this is this is a Euro style uh, connection box. So you may have a hard time mounting this. And we actually have a couple different other styles. And by the way, this is a red, green, blue, white controller. And here we have a red, green, blue controller. And it's got the same style mounting box, the Euro style box. And then finally, uh, we have this style, which again is a uh, red, green, blue. But this one mounts into a standard US uh, electrical box, like you'd have for either a wall switch or a power outlet and uh, so that would be another option for a wired remote. I've pretty much covered the SMD style of uh, LED strips and again they're 12 volts powered. You can power it either with a 12 volt power supply like this or uh, which you got to buy separately or you can get one of these along with uh, the controller uh, as a package kit in some of these cases. Now, I'm only going to briefly touch on the addressable ones, uh, the uh, WS series. And here is the controller for the WS series. And it's similar to the other ones. It's got uh, an infrared uh, receiver for the remote. However, here it's, it's got two wires. 
uh, that go to the LED strip, but you'll notice I've got a bunch of uh, jumpers in here and things because these were reversed. Uh, this, these two wires are the signal and clock wires. Basically what happens is the controller sends the signal out telling the uh, LED strip which light to turn on, which LED to turn off. Uh, that's why it's addressable and then the clock keeps the timing correct. And if you actually look in the strip, if you compare them to the other ones, uh, and I know it's pretty hard to see here, but there's actually an integrated circuit for each uh, LED. And the other difference there is this is 5 volts rather than 12 volts. So you're certainly going to have to buy like a 5 volt power supply. Again, I'll put this on my uh, webpage uh, at rv-project.com and I'll give you the schematics and everything. If you're really wanting to go into something like this, but again, for the uh, purpose of RVs, um, you probably don't need this. You know, this is probably overkill. Uh, and again, you know, you don't want a bunch of flashing lights and everything to annoy your neighbors. So I would, again, still recommend going with either the RGB uh, style or the monochrome style. And in fact, I do like these uh, wired remotes because then you can put it into a cabinet or something. However, they're not quite as useful, I suppose, as the wireless. And they're certainly a little more expensive. That pretty much covers it for this episode. And in the next episode, uh, we're going to show different mounting options.